Hi guys, today's video is a bit different. Um, for the last past year, I've been really passionate about like changing my diet and just making a lot of lifestyle changes as I grew older. Now that I'm 25, I just felt like it had to be done because I was coming to a point where um, two years ago, or about a year and a half ago, I put on a lot of weight, um, I just always felt sluggish and I just didn't feel great at all. At the moment I'm still not like 100% there where I want to be. I think I made a lot of progress and I wanted to share my five top tips on weight loss and toning up as well because I don't think like to me it wasn't where I wanted to be thin and skinny I wanted to tone up and you know be have a very toned figure while still maintaining my curves if that makes sense one of the biggest biggest things that drastically helped me to drink lots of water I'm gonna have some now just because it's so hot. I always keep bottles of water in my room, just everywhere I go. I keep one in my handbag when I'm working, like going to work or going anywhere out. I always make sure I have a bottle of water with me and just to maintain your hydration levels, you should be drinking, I think the recommended one for women is two liters a day, right? I don't really count it like that. I just you know everybody's body is different but once you start drinking more water your body kind of craves it like two years ago i used to just crave like if it's a hot day i'll be like oh my god i really want a can of coke oh my god i'd love to like just have some um apple juice or things like that but nowadays i'm like i want water nice cold bottle of water i think everything in moderation is okay like i still have coke sometimes i'll treat myself to when i'm in a restaurant or something you know maybe once a week once every two weeks i will still have some juice or coke just because you know just because you're making these changes doesn't mean you still can't enjoy um little treats there there and there the thing is with fizzy drinks they contain so much sugar like refined processed sugars which is the worst kind because your body doesn't know what to do with it and you know it's like freaking out like what the hell do i do with this amount of sugar can i just tell you i just did some research coke contains 53 grams of sugar in one bottle or like red bull is 39 or just like even normal innocent juice innocent sorry i'm just like cussing all these brands but i don't really care um contains 25 grams of sugar like that's ridiculous amount and to think that you know children are drinking these every single day no wonder why the obesity rate is just popping off over the roof just cut cut out fizzy drinks and juices best way to help do that is don't have them in your house like i've <laughs> i even got my family off drinking juices and fizz drinks simply because they're not in the house so, you know if it's in the house obviously you're going to open your fridge and you're going to be like there's a can of coke or there's water you're going to go for the coke especially when you're starting out it's harder Obviously, freshly squeezed juices are really good for you because they contain so many minerals and vitamins from fruits I'm not talking about the natural juices i'm talking about the concentrated even the non-concentrated juices just read the labels honestly they'll show you like 12 grams of sugar at least in a bottle of apple juice or orange juice for example because they need to add a lot of refined sugars in order to make sure the juice doesn't go off and um, yeah i don't really know exactly why they add so many sugars to the juices i love to drink is teas i think teas really really help um with weight loss one in particular is green tea this one's by clipper pure green tea um the bags are unbleached um so it's natural fair trade and really really nice i think the flavor is really nice it's not too harsh green tea has so many benefits like for your skin i used to get a lot of like acne around here two years ago just like spread everywhere 
and when I started drinking more water and green tea like it just completely went after about a week it's crazy it aids with digestion it increases your metabolism which helps digest your food faster it really helps with weight loss I know people that swear by green tea honestly so many I'm gonna list all the benefits of green tea here because there is just way too many to go through I first started drinking it two years ago I, I like first started drinking it I didn't really like it when you're first starting out you can add a spoon of like honey <coughs> not sugar honey to make it taste better you can add some lemon you can add some mint to it and just to give it more flavor if you don't really like it but honestly I highly recommend green tea I also drink peppermint tea fennel tea those are really good especially after you eat so I have peppermint tea before I go to sleep and that really helps with you know your body to process and digest the food faster number two is eat healthy like if you're going to be putting a lot of processed foods and a lot of junk food and a lot of just crap into your body you're going to feel like crap when i started like changing my diet as well one of the biggest things i noticed was how much more energy i have like honestly if i go to mcdonald's now um i gotta eat after about two hours number one i'm hungry again number two i just feel sluggish and lazy because obviously you're not getting any any sort of nutrition out of mcdonald's apart from carb overload <laughs> sugar overload and god knows what else you know you need to be putting more protein into your diet less sugar um good fats i think good fats are good i mean one of the biggest mistakes i see people do is they try and cut out fat so they go and buy low fat yogurt instead of the normal fat yogurt which is technically better for you because the low fat is substituted with twice as much sugar in order for it to taste good when i have yogurt just buy the full fat one because the low fat one is only going to make things worse for you the good fats are like avocado um love adding avocado to my salad or like as a snack like guacamole or you know there's so many things you can do with avocado because your body needs good fats you know for to manage your, the oil levels in your skin um hair growth like just your your heart how it functions and just all your vital organs you know you need good fats extra virgin olive oil as well i add that to my salads Cut out junk food yeah i have my cheat days like once a week i'll go and have pizza or whatever you can still do that but like i said you know everything in moderation um you can still treat yourself and you know say oh my god this week i've been so good i've eaten so clean and you know, I've cooked everything, I just want one day where I can just go to a nice restaurant or wherever the hell you you want and just eat whatever. What I like to do is I cook my meals, try and stick to simple um, ingredients. I'm in the process of completely cutting out red meat from my diet after watching the uh, Cowspiracy documentary. I highly recommend that documentary guys, it will just open your eyes up to so many things in terms of diet in terms of what's going on in the world eating more of the white meat like chicken and fish like once twice a week i'll try and have uh, completely vegetarian meals point three is to exercise i go to the gym about three times a week try and pick an exercise which you love i personally love going to the gym and you know training and toning up my muscles and seeing my progress is my motivation when I'm seeing like my body change it just motivates, motivates me to work harder and achieve higher goals if you're trying to lose weight I think you know always start off with cardio some HIIT training which is cardio and muscle toning kind of mixed together yeah I do a lot of weight training now at the gym um, just because you know when you work your muscles and your muscles are growing they actually burn way more calories even on your rest days because your muscles are growing and they're breaking even when you're resting you're going to be burning even more calories than you did at the gym and the main thing is you're burning more calories which means you're going to lose more weight highly recommend weight training i'm going to include a video of a protein shake that i've been doing um, it's completely natural i do not add any kind of 
whey powder whey protein powders plant-based powders i use um i use peanut butter i'm obsessed with peanut butter okay to start with i'm using my nutri bullet and i've got a ripe banana and some uh, maca powder organic sorry I add that to my shake, also raw cocoa powder which is really good for energy boosting, some chia seeds that they are packed with omega 3 and um, they give a lot of energy as well and some flax seeds and goji berries as well. So to start with I just cut the banana into four small pieces and I'm just adding it on into the cup. Then I'm getting about a spoon of the maca, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, or masa, I think it's maca powder. Then I'm going to add about a big spoon of the raw cocoa powder, I really like this, it makes the milkshake, well the smoothie taste really like chocolatey. Then I added some chia seeds and a spoon of the flax seeds and goji berries. Then I'm using almond milk, this one's by Rude Health. Uh, which I really like but mine sadly finished so I just added the Alpro um, hazelnut milk, almond milk sorry. Then I'm going to add a spoon of the whole earth crunchy peanut butter and that's it really. Then I just close the lid and off you go with the blending. This literally takes like two minutes. The Nutribullet is so easy to use. You just turn it upside down, lock it in and blend, blend, blend for usually I just do it for like two minutes and that pretty much blends everything and honestly this like shake tastes like chocolate it kills my sugar cravings uh, you get the sweetness from the banana it is, I have, I'm trying to completely cut out dairy from my diet just because I feel like dairy, when I drink milk or have cheese I feel really bloated and I don't think my stomach agrees very well with dairy so i've pretty much almost cut it out i drink almond milk now i hardly ever have cheese the last point i'm gonna make for number five and i've covered i've kind of covered it in drinks and diet but i want to make it a point on its own because i think it's it's the biggest problem issue that we have right now in terms of um sugar refined like just sugar because we're consuming so much of it it's like where do i put this or oh, i'll put it there i'll put it there i'll put it there and usually it goes into your stomach and your legs and just everywhere and reduce as much sugar and that can be in your drinks in your food so just always read the labels chocolate now there and again like um if I, if i'm craving cake honestly i'll bake it myself just because I can see how much sugar I add and I've actually changed to co uh, coconut sugar white sugar is not good for you at all, it's been bleached, it's been highly refined and processed like it's terrible, we don't even have that in my house anymore <laughs> or if I'm really craving sugar I'll add a few dates to my protein shake and it makes it so sweet and it just completely kills my craving the reason why we crave sugar so much is because it's highly addictive so the more you eat it the more you want it and i'm gonna link a lot of like helpful books and documentaries that really opened my eyes because there's a lot to cover in this topic also what i'm gonna do is on my blog i've added a nutrition section so what i'm gonna do is um i'll i'm gonna start adding things and blog posts to it of the protein shakes i make the ingredients um just like facts that i find out um as soon as that's up um, I will link that down below as well. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. You know, if you want me to do more like fitness videos, like more diet videos, just let me know any requests you guys have. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video and found it somehow helpful. But also on a journey to weight loss, let me know how that's going for you, what changes you have made. My diet, it's not perfect and I'm always looking for ways of improving it so if you guys know any tips let me know subscribe to my channel and i'll see my next video bye bye